Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back, guys. Sorry I haven't gone for so long. Two weeks. Uh, I was out of town. I have to two weeks year I take off, but we are back every day starting today. Uh, starting tomorrow, we'll be back with two shows a day uh, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, I want to get into today's show. Jesus Ramos uh, put on a spectacular performance. 20-year-old uh, from out of Arizona. Uh, put on a really high-level, top-notch performance. Um, and I, I wanted to get into it because um, it was a lot of people are going to say this was quite, kind of a quiet week, um, especially with the way the Warrington Laura fight ended um, with the uh, no decision. Um, you know, um, due to the headbutt in the second round. But I think this was a really, really good week of boxing, and I, I think that was concluded by Jose's. Ramos who moved to 17 and 0. Um, he's gone the distance, the 10 round distance twice in a row now. Um, and he's barely lost a round in doing it. Maybe he lost a round to Molina, and maybe uh, I'm not, he lost two cards, uh, two rounds um, in the Mendoza fight. I, I didn't see that. I thought maybe he lost one. Uh, but he's a junior middleweight now. He's right now 154. Um, I, 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 I'd like to see him at 47, but perhaps he's outgrowing the division. Um, because I, I, I want to, if you think um, either Isaiah Ramos or Conor Ben were not impressive, I don't know what you're looking at. Um, Jesus Ramos um, was sharp shooting with the right hand. I mean, Mendoza's not in the play. Mendoza, he got Mendoza to quit after about three rounds. After about the third or fourth round, Mendoza wanted nothing to do with the fight. But this was a guy who came to win and got broken down within three or four rounds. Um, he was sharp shooting him with the right hand. He was breaking him down. He was attacking the body. Uh, he was doing really, really good work. He just didn't get him out because Mendoza wouldn't engage with him. Mendoza had one goal, and that was to go the distance. Right? He walked in with one game plan. It wasn't working. And then he just got on his bicycle and said, I'm going to run out the clock. That's exactly what he did. So I, I, I thought Jesus Ramos' performance was really, really good. Really, really good. And I think the same thing about um, Connor Ben's performance. I thought Connor Ben's performance was excellent. Um, I thought Connor Ben fought Adrian Granados. Granados is an excellent fighter. Um, I, I thought, um, you know, Granados is a guy that's given a lot of top notch, a lot of top notch fighters a hard time. Granados won rounds with. Danny Garcia, before he got knocked out, he won rounds with um, Sean Porter. I arguably beat Adrian Brown. A- Adrian Granados is a guy that gives everyone troubles. Everyone troubles. Um, you-, you go through Granados' resume, and y- you know he lost a real tough fight to Robert Easton Jr. Won some rounds with Danny Garcia. Once, uh, won some rounds, won a lot of rounds with Sean Porter. I had an 8-4. Uh, I thought Arguably could have beat Adrian Broner. I mean, he's got one fight after Brian Solomon, Felix Diaz. He, he got a uh, no, he lost to Felix Diaz. He's got one fight after another with high level fighters, world champion fighters, where he gave him trouble. Kind of been dominated him. Kind of been had easy work with him. Kind of been took him apart. Um, I had it 100 to 90. I, I thought he won every round. And so one of the judges, uh, I think 99, 91, and then one judge had it way too close, 97, 93. But it's a really, really good performance by Conor Bat. Conor Bat and Jesus Ramos are future world champions. Now, it's going to be tougher for Conor Ben because 147 is brutal. But Conor Ben is a come forward fighter who does a lot of things well. Does a lot of things well. Um, Jesus Ramos um, is, is, is an offensive force who's not that easy to hit. He goes, he's for Southpaw. He can make you miss, make you miss, and he can come forward. He can beat you up, and he sharp shoots with the right hand. Uh, I, I think both of those guys 
are future world champions. Um, I, I I think Jesus Ramos is one of the best prospects in the sport. I think kind of Ben's a future world champion. And the other guy I wanted to get into was was, was Hopi Price. Uh, Hopi Price fought on the uh, the zone card uh, on the same card as um, Josh Warrington, uh, the same card as kind of Ben. Hopi Price looked sensational. Um, Hopi Price got rid of a uh, sixteen one fighter named Zahad Hussein um, in, in two rounds. Um, and I was talking to my British people. I said, is this guy going to offer up some resistance? And they all said, yeah, he should, should offer up some resistance. And he absolutely did not. Hopi Price wasn't known as a puncher. wasn't thought to be a puncher. And he blew this guy out. Hopi Price is on a, you know, Hopi Price is, what, what is he, six fights in now? Six and all? And he's already fighting 10 rounders. He's blown out guys 16 and one records. Uh, before that, he, he outclassed a guy named Claudio Grande. It was another undefeated prospect. Uh, I, I don't know if Hopi Price is going to be a world champion. Um, what do I choose? Another real tough division. But Hopi Price is a real, real good prospect. Um, so, you know, I, I think this was a pretty good weekend in the boxing. I think we had two cards, and, and both cards were really good. Uh, loaded with prospects, loaded with good young fighters. Didn't have the world title fights. Didn't have the mega fights um, that you may have hoped for. Uh, but you got a to look at a bunch of prospects, a bunch, and um, you go to the PBC card, you had Michael Angeletti on the card. I mean, you had Michael Angeletti, another 122-pounder, really, really good. That 122-pound division is going to be something to behold for years to come. So many good young fighters at 122, and Michael Angeletti is one of them. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. I, I was really impressed with Jesus Ramos. I was really impressed with Conor Ben. And a lot of people are going to, Go back and forth. They didn't get knockouts. You know, they might not have done what you wanted to, uh, but they made their opponents, opponents quit. They changed their, they made their opponents change their game plan pretty quickly. Um, I think they both imposed their will and did what you know they had to do and did it in dominant fashion. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, share Texas Boxing. Uh, share on all forms of social media. Uh, please subscribe to our other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene, where all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Uh, that's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Help us get that monetized as quickly as possible. It's a brand new channel. Um, it is September 5th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.